Rory Schlein, an Australian international speedway rider. Three months ago, I su suffered a spinal injury, two fractures, a shattered vertebrae, and I've had two rods and eight screws inserted into my back. This video's a kickstand to, to get me back where I want to be, and that's racing a motorbike. It just brings back. It's harder it now than it is then. Just now, you know, like, I just know how much pressure and how much work he's done. Um, pretty tough. I don't think anyone realises what he's been doing in since the accident. And he's been doing it on his own, um, you know, fighting his way back. So it's, it's hard. On him and his family, you know, back there, they've all made huge sacrifices. And it's pretty hard on us being back here, not being there, be able to help him personally, if you know what I mean. Rehab's the, um, the most important bit of me getting back on a bike. Um, the rehab's been slow um, because of obviously the, the, the extent of the injuries. Um, I recently flew out to Poland to see the, the professor just to have a bit of a checkup and um, he's, he's reasonably happy. He's, he's said that everything seems okay at the minute. He's put me back four weeks in training, which I was a little bit disappointed about because I've been pretty bored for three months, not being able to do, do anything and I can feel myself, you know, not, not being fit. And, um, yeah, so the the whole the whole process is is just trying to build my back up and, and getting back fit. There's um, there's no special treatments or anything like that because um, obviously as as we've said, uh, I'm screwed and bolted together, so the fracture will heal as as any as any bone will heal. Um, it's just getting the movement back and obviously building up my right leg, which suffered the nerve damage as well. So. There's a lot of work to be done, um, fitness-wise. Um, you know, fitness is just one thing. Obviously, mentally, I need to make sure I'm right to get back on a bike as well. Obviously, I've decided that I'm going to race again. Um, but there's inner you know, demons that every athlete, motorsports person, goes through after an injury, and and what they have to to face. You know, when they go back to competitive. Um, racing so you know hopefully in about four weeks we'll we'll be back in the gym and um, just building up slowly you know still got another two three months before um, I hopefully we'll get the all clear I was told six to eight months but six months is is uh, a realistic target um, so it's uh, just a slow process because the progress was quite fast early on but now it's um, it's just to allow the body to to be able to move and bend and um, because obviously I'm fixed in a certain position now so I've got to find out what how much movement I've lost and um, and what what uh, what I can do so I won't know that until once I'm back in the gym and two back on a bike so it's been slow uh, in the last I'd say the last month um, but I can feel, feel myself getting a little bit more relaxed and um, a bit more movement. Uh, I'm just really, really keen to to get, you know, in the gym again because uh, 
I think that will be good for my head because um, I'll have a goal then. Like at the minute, I'm sort of just waiting for the the green light from the from the specialist to say, yeah, I can I can start training again. Richard Levy, I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I, uh, I've been working with Rory now for uh, the last three weeks. I was introduced to Rory um, by Glenn Smith, who works out of the Red Corner Gym here in Coventry. The main focus or uh, objective in terms of uh, rehabilitating Rory back to fitness was to develop core strength, uh, flexibility and uh, strength endurance. So over the last three weeks or so, um, I've devised a program that is focused around, like I said, developing core strengths, flexibility, mobility, and total body strength. So far, so good. Uh, Rory's application and his motivation to the training has been absolutely excellent, 100%. We've broke his workout down into um, six week blocks at the minute, and at the end of each phase, we'll review um, how Rory's progressing. This initial phase is this foundation, fundamental phase, where we're actually just working on just the basic fundamental movement skills, just getting Rory's body back to full functional flexibility and strength. And like I said, we'll review that at the end of this training phase and move them on to the next phase. We're looking at anywhere between sort of three, two to three months uh, to get Rory up to 100% full fitness. The way he's progressing at the moment, we could, you know, be well on course to actually be gaining those results beforehand. But at the moment, everything looks good and I'm very happy. is obviously the body's alarm system so there's no point in sort of pushing through pain um, so you know Rory we've got this understanding he actually feeds back to me exactly how he's feeling um, we'll you know grade the pain you know what type of pain is it is it intense if it's just a kind of a light muscle ache um, you know just a light pain then perhaps that's okay but if it's unbearable then you know we can be causing potential damage so we don't want to go there so in this phase it's just about sort of taking things really easy with Rory and kind of working within his uh, functional limits um, and to make sure that we gain the right results going forward without actually causing him the undue stress or problems. Well, obviously from the last time we spoke it was, uh, you know, we were trying to put things in place to, to, to get back, you know, back in the, into the gym, back on the bike and um, and like you said, we had um, had a, a small setback, had to have a third operation. Um, but that, that seems to have improved pretty much everything. Um, it's been able, it's been enabled me to get uh, back in the gym and uh, to, to where we were uh, two, three weeks ago, um, where we couldn't even, uh, you know, do one sit-up. It's pretty much, you know, it, the, the improvements, uh, you know, it speaks for itself. Sort of been more excited than ever to get back in the gym, and I'm the type of person who's never, never, you know, keen on workouts and stuff like that. But this time it's been it's been different. I've actually been excited and um, upbeat and getting in the gym. And uh, with Rich, it's completely different. 
it's given me a different outlook on, on, on fitness really because it's not all about you know lifting weights and, and, and you know sweating your guts out. There's a lot to do with stretching and mobility and flexibility and uh, you know it's something that uh, at the minute I'm enjoying. Uh, the pain wise it's just because obviously I've done nothing for, for seven months, seven, eight months. It's that's been the hardest part when uh, I've had to deal with, with muscles that have just done nothing. Um, so, you know, Rich is pushing me through that, and, uh, but I've got to listen to my body at the same time. So, for me, you know, it's still, it's still a work in progress, but, you know, another four to six weeks, we should, uh, we should be good to go. As far as uh, Rory's concerned, like, you know, getting back to full functional work capacity um, in terms of, like, you know, uh, top level speed where he's concerned. You know, Rory's application, his motivation, it, for me, working with a load of athletes across a, a range of sports is, is second to none. Like I said, his motivation is uh, top level. It's great working with him, he's got a great attitude to work. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a bright and sensible guy as well. He won't overdo it. Um, he does exactly what uh, you know, I tell him to do and I have no doubt that in terms of getting back on the track uh, to high level speedway um, you know, we'll have no problems or we'll get him back there soon, full, fit and functional uh, where he needs to be um, to perform at the highest level.